After doing a bunch of reverse engineering exercises in the beginning of my career, I finally decided that I'm ready to do the real thing. And then I tried and I tried and I tried. But it was so painfully slow and cumbersome because I had to keep so much information in my head. I even made notes on paper to the point it got a little bit ridiculous. I was doing that for a while until one day a senior colleague of mine saw me and asked, Blood, bro, what are you doing? Let me show you the way. To start off, we need to understand how developers write their programs. Of course, you already know the concept of variables, small memory chunks holding a bit of data. Let's say we are writing a video game and we want to add some NPCs. An NPC can have a number of traits, let's say name, height, weight, speed, and so on. So now we have a number of variables to describe an NPC. But what if we want to use two NPCs? I can add variables like name2, height2, blah blah blah. And what if we decide that we need three NPCs? You get where I'm going with this. Of course, a real game can have dozens if not hundreds of NPCs. But what should we do to manage those? Creating hundreds of variables surely doesn't feel right. That's where C structures come in. A structure in C is just a convenient way to describe data. To create an NPC structure, we can just write struct NPC, followed by what is called structure members. Basically, we describe structure members the same way we would describe variables. Now we can create NPC statically, or even better, we can create new NPC dynamically with mal by allocating enough memory to fit our structure in. malloc returns a pointer to a newly allocated buffer, and we may choose to use this buffer as NPC structure. Now we are able to create any number of NPCs in a really convenient way. We refer to any of NPC fields by using an arrow. So let's set speed of our NPCs and we can even name them. I'd say names like Steve and Carl perfectly describe their personalities. And then let's add some printf functions just for a good measure. But what all of this has to do with reverse engineering? Well, it turns out that developers really like using structures as it makes their jobs easier. And they use it everywhere. And to make your job easier, you have to do the same. To start off, let's rename the two pointers and let's go along as we have no idea about structures whatsoever. So, let's add a comment about speed. Now we have to remember that offset hex 108 corresponds to speed. Then goes height at offset hex 100. And we also have to remember that. You can see how it could snowball from here, and your brain capacity will soon reach its limits. So, let's see what difference using structures can make. Let's start by adding a new structure in our Hydra database. But what fields should we add? We know nothing about the offsets, sizes and the size of the structure itself. More often than not, you have limited knowledge about structures used in a program when reversing. To make things easier for us, Let's start by creating a dummy structure of the right size. And finding the right size is easy. Let's take a closer look at the argument of malloc 
in Ghidra and in the source code. It turns out that size of struct npc was replaced by the number hex 10c during compilation. So that would be the size we are looking for. Let's go back to the structure builder and add a new field the size of one byte. Let's duplicate this field so our structure consists of 10c minus one byte fields. Now we can retype our npc1 and npc2 to pointers to struct npc and the only thing left is to rename the respective fields. And voila! What a beautiful code! If you compare the way I reverse engineer this without structures, with what we got now, you understand that using structures is in fact much easier. You don't have to store any information in your head. What you need is already in the code in front of you. And another cool thing about structures is that they are reusable, unlike comments. It's common for developers to use the same structures in different places in code, and now you can do the same. The discovery of C structures was so big for me that my work sped up dramatically. I was literally measuring my progress in how much structures I created today. I was feeling like a king, and I was able to use the free capacity of my brain to discover some zero days. And that's what we are here for, right? I hope that C structures will help you too. Tell me in the comments what was your biggest discovery in CyberSec. I wish you good luck, and as always, happy hacking, you guys!